So in this mini lecture, we are going to look at the oxyanions of elements. Oxyanions are a type of polyatomic anion. And we have a table of some common ones that you'll come across in your general chemistry class. And so you should take a look at those on our website and begin to memorize them. But the goal of this lecture is to acquaint you with some rules so that you can easily identify and name the oxyanions. And so our first rule is for those elements uh, that form one oxyanion, those get the suffix of eight. So the most common one you'll see of this type is carbonate, which is CO3, two minus. And so you have carbon, and then you add on the suffix eight. Okay, what about elements with two oxyanions? Uh, you'll see this a lot with nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. There are others, but these are the common ones. Um, so if we looked at the nitrogen examples, that would be NO2 minus and NO3 minus. The one with the least number of oxygens has the suffix of ite. So this would be nitrite. And eight would be the other. So nitrate. Okay. Uh, there are also elements with more than two oxyanions. And you'll see this most commonly with the halogens, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. And so if we looked at the bromine examples, we would have BrO minus, BrO2 minus, BrO3 minus, and BrO4 minus. So you'll notice that these differ in the number of oxygens present. And so the one with the least number of oxygens has um, hypo out front and then bromite. Okay, and so the next one would just be bromite. Then you would have bromate and perbromate. So this sort of looks like our previous two um, examples where this this follows the normal trend bromite or ite and eight hypo means under so that goes for the least number of oxygens and then with the per out in front corresponds to the most number of oxygens there are also uh, hydrogen containing anions Um, this is true for oxyanions and just other anions, but you begin naming these with uh, hydrogen in front. So, for example, if you had HS minus, this is not an oxyanion, but it is a hydrogen containing anion. This would be hydrogen sulfide. Uh, carbonate has a hydrogen containing version, so that is uh, CO3 two minus that has accepted a proton. Uh, the name of this is hydrogen carbonate. It also has a common name of bicarbonate, um, but hydrogen carbonate, carbonate is how you would name that. Also, you can have more than one hydrogen present. So if uh, you had H2PO4 minus, this would be dihydrogen phosphate. Okay, so that's a rule for hydrogen containing. We have a table here for some practice. Let's try to get through it. Permanganate is one you should just memorize, and that is MnO4 minus. IO minus, that is hypo iodite. HSO4 minus is hydrogen sulfate. Chromate is another you should memorize, that is CrO4 2 minus. And then we have PO3 3 minus, that is phosphite. And chlorate is ClO3 minus. And that is naming and identifying oxyanions. 